thank you for sitting down with me next to the fire, Dakota, for another edition of Haikus with Alejandro. I've had some great entries over this last video, and uh, I'd like to read over some of our favorite submissions. I love UCs, even when they look like a refrigerator. Beautiful. They see me rolling. They see me riding dirty, swagging straight lazy. I love to ride it. Do you love to ride it too? I think you must do. Fantastic. Touching, absolutely touching. Two men bring us close. The future is electric. A hero's song plays. December, it's cold. Could ride with a free jacket. Size, extra large. Thanks. Bold. It's bold. Bold and cold. And last but most certainly not least is this lovely entry from Mike V. Evie's makes me grin. Time to let your wheel free spin. This contest I win. You most certainly do, Mikey. Congratulations, you've won. Can I have a kiss, please? Wow, I'm touched. Those are beautiful. You know, I'm one of the best hires I think we've ever made, Alejandro. Thank you so much for that. Alejandro, thoughtful. you read those so beautifully. I, I couldn't have read it. I almost, when he was crying on the beach, I almost <laughs> cried with him. I almost did. It was like it was almost me in a way, you know? <laughs> it, was, it was powerful. And uh, to the winner, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, Reach out. Uh, lazy rolling hoodie for you. Congrats. Yeah. All right, we're here for the Bagode Hero High Torque, which I feel like has been overshadowed a bit by all these damn new wheels. Uh, stay tuned, we're gonna release yeah, we're an, a, a second video. We're actually recording it right after this one, but we'll be releasing a second video on the Bagode Master, yeah. and also stop releasing so many f***ing wheels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too many wheels on the dance floor. Too, Too many, many wheels. wheels. <laughs> Guess that reference. Yeah. And you win the prize oh, of this video. Yep, and yep. today's prize will be... Flatline 3D gloves. That's a good one. Flatline 3D gloves. So it came to me. Too many wheels on the dance floor. Too many wheels. Too many wheels. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to I'm turning into uh, Adam A. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know. This rap song. <laughs> Just quick. Uh, er two wheels, three wheels, four wheels, too much. No, the wheel is all I touch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, we digress. We always digress, but that's why you watch us, right? Yes, I hope. I don't know. Um, the Goat Hero, High Torque. I still love it. I know it's overpriced, especially after they released the Master for yeah. like significantly less money. We'll go into that in our next video. But um, hear, let's go over. Your asterisks in your tone. You yeah, know? yeah, there are. I mean, it, it's still a wheel. If someone wants a very torquey, like an RS that has suspension. Then and you want to shred the trails, then like it's a really good wheel for that. Perhaps, and perhaps the if best. you don't want to wait for the hero, or you don't want to wait for the, um, sorry, not the hero, the S20, mm. or any of these other new wheels, and you want something pretty much right away, we're yeah. gonna have them in like a week or two. Yep. Um, then it's something to get. But 
I don't have, we didn't order that many of them, let's just say that. Yeah. We ordered like 100 V12s at a time, and we ordered 10 heroes. Just let the cat to, out of the bag. To give you an idea. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you want one, there's not many, but I, I, honestly. With a couple already pre-ordered, so. Yeah. So we did some stress tests similar to what we did with the uh, Abrams. In mm -hmm. fact, we did the exact same route. Yeah. Um, and Doug, our seasoned veteran our, rider here. Our resident wheel destroyer. Yeah, yeah. he uh, tested the top speed. Yeah. I think he got up to 62, 64 kilometers an hour. Not too bad. Respectable. Um, First hour. And that was when wheel. it was beeping. He didn't push yeah. it past the beeps too much. But when I rode it at about 70% battery, I was getting beeps at 55 kilometers an hour. So the, the beeps start pretty quickly after. Yeah. You're heavier than him? Uh, no, he's about the same weight, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Shorter, he's shorter, shorter. but uh, stockier. Um, after riding, this is what shocked me. So we went up the cardiac hill, yep. and uh, after riding the extreme testing we did, we only rode 28 kilometers, yeah. and the hero when we got I, back was at 17% oh, battery. 17%, oh. it was full when we left. I, so, I mean, I was like, okay, well we really pushed it. It was like top speed most of the time. We were going up insane hills, off-roading, high speeds. It was five degrees Celsius. Uh, it was a little warmer that day. I think it was like actually like eight or 10 degrees. It was warmer. But <laughs> now in the last week, it's been a lot cooler. So I was like, okay, well, there's no way that that's the range. So okay, I took yeah. it out and been riding all week on it. And I wanted to get like normal riding usage. When I say normal riding, I was riding this thing between 40 to 55 kilometers an hour yep. on straight stretches, often around 50. Yep. Um, and I got 55 kilometers before it, it really was beeping at 20 kilometers an hour speeds. Damn. So 55 kilometer range is not good. I want to I check something. I'm just going to do something on the fly. We just got a pre-order for a wheel, and I want to give the person a shout out oh, okay. for Hello. supporting us. You, are you down with that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see. I think I know who it is. My guess is that it's Tony. Tony. Who came in yesterday. We had a great conversation. But uh, let's see, orders. You order while we shoot, we'll uh, shout you out on the channel. <laughs> was, that, was that right now? 10.09? Oh, I think that's right it now. It, it was yeah. someone different. Oh, veteran Sherman Max. Oh, Anthony, yeah. probably Tony. Tony Anthony. Anthony Jensen, very graciously uh, accepting your pre-order for the Sherman Max. Thank you for your support. Yeah, it's not much of a pre-order. We'll get it pretty soon. Yeah. Over about a month. Uh, they're already on a boat somewhere between China and here. Yeah, we've immortalized your order. You ordered right as we were filming this. So <laughs> it's now forever on the YouTube. <laughs> shout out. Um, shout out does Tony. he watch your channel? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. He was so, the one that was like, oh, you guys are like hey, little Tony. micro celebrities. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Shout All out right. Tony. Thank I you. I love it. Um, thanks for supporting Evie's and watching us grow. Anyways, um, where were we? We're back to normal riding. I was getting yeah. 55 kilometer range. Yeah. At, but I was, it was beeping at about 30 kilometers an hour speed. With only 45 to 48 kilometers into the range test. Okay. So yeah. really use, proper usage riding, you're getting 45 kilometers. Mind you, it's cold. Yeah. It was like three degrees Celsius most of the week. Are we taking the hero down south? I think so. I'd love to yeah. redo this with you. We're bringing yeah. Marty a hero. It should come in time, yeah. so we're gonna bring him a hero, yes. and he's, it's gonna stay with him. But for most of the trip, we'll have a hero. What kind test. of service is that? Evie's hand delivers a sample <laughs> hero to Marty <laughs> to test. Well, it was supposed to get shipped directly to him, but my forwarder messed well. up and sent it to us by <laughs> we'll accident. Just beep so yeah. that <laughs> we meant to hand deliver it to you the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what we do here. He's expecting it to be airship. He doesn't even know we're hand delivering it yet. Oh, <laughs> he watches this. And being, oh, sweet! You guys are cool, hand delivering. Right it. On, yeah. Also, I guess that means I'm getting it two weeks later. Oops. But, uh, okay. Uh, anyway, I want to put the the range into comparison to an S18. Mm -hmm. Now, the Hero has an 1800 watt hour battery. Yes. The S18 has an 1100 watt hour battery. That is less watt hours. 700. That's yes, a lot. Several. I get more range on my S18. I do. I go between 60 to 80 kilometers on my S18. The hero Mot motor sizes difference. Yeah, it's quite quite a bit different. It's twenty two hundred watt for the um, S eighteen. I think it's twenty eight hundred watt for the C thirty eight yeah. motor. Yeah. Um, or maybe it's even a bit more. But the reason why the 
Hero isn't as battery efficient is because it's extremely torquey. Mm -hmm. I was getting from zero to 50 like instantly. It's that so C38 much fun to like torque, baby. accelerate so hard on it. Yeah. So you're getting a lot more performance out of that battery, but you're getting, yeah, you're getting less battery out of it. So you're not going to have that voltage sag you get on the S18 with the, that extra battery. Right. Um, and the thing just absolutely crushed the trails and hills. We got the B-roll footage of, of um, Doug riding and um, those trails we rode on were completely washed out. We had this, oh, yeah. what do they call it, an atmospheric river yeah. come through when yeah. it just flooded the it's like Vancouver. A, a, a sky river. Yeah. Drops down. Just nonstop rain. Yeah. And the trails were all washed out. There was deep rivets. Some of them were like six inches to a foot Ooh. deep. And you had to dodge Damn. them. And uh, I was on the Abrams. I actually couldn't get up. I spun out on the way up. It was really wet and gross. Nobody got up. We were, there was about five or six of us. Only that person that got up was Doug on a hero. So, and he is the yeah. best rider, but yeah. still, yeah. it was pretty difficult riding. Yep. Um, so that was impressive. Yep. The heat dissipation as well on the thing is amazing. So mm -hmm. he did the pendulum test on the veteran Sherman, the commander, the Abrams. And when we got back from our ride, after we charged for a bit, he did a, another heat dissipation test by penduling yeah. in here for about 10 minutes. And he gave up, I think from like, I don't know, six minutes onwards. I had the graph somewhere posted up there. But uh, he could not get it hotter than 62 or 64 No matter Celsius. what he did. No matter what he did, he kept going and going. He's like, okay, I can't heat soak this, this huh. heat sink. So the heat sink does an incredible job. Um, and he couldn't get past 64 Celsius, which is pretty impressive. Now, this means it's probably a really good trail royal. If you're doing lots of hills, it's going to be difficult to heat soak this thing. Um, it's warm in here. Yep. It's we have the heaters going, so I think it's probably around 25, 26 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So you're paying for a really nice waterproof design. Yep. A big heat sink that I'm sure cost a lot of money to, to do. Um, suspension that's actually pretty darn good. Even Doug said he it's better than the V11, but not as good as the S18. But it turns out you can actually swap out the suspension. But Goad said told us we couldn't, but then someone's done it. So Goad. you can customize <laughs> suspension to get rebound control. Um, yeah, it's more expensive. If this wheels for someone that has the money, they yeah. want a really good trail it's wheel. Like wheel number four kind of thing. It comes with a really nice pedal. Some of yeah. my favorite foot pedals in the game, the, oh, the yeah. Goad yeah. hex pedals. Yeah, they've got to be my favorite that I've tried and like really yeah. put through its paces. So if you're willing to fork out the overpriced wheel, and I, yeah, it is because they just released the Master and it's mm -hmm. going to be much less than the. Yeah. So that's a whole nother video. <laughs> We're going to get into that. I'm going to go on a little rant, but. Um, yeah, that's the hero. And you wrote it too. Yeah, you... I, to me, it's like, it's just, if the, like all the takeaways from this, for me at least, to be concise is like, if you want a, a more, like a, a bigger, more enjoyable suspension wheel, but you don't care so much about long range, it's the best wheel for you. Yeah. It's, you know, it's just, it's stable, it's robust, it's got that C38, Torky, that torquey C38 yeah. motor, like, it's like the, you know, I was gonna equate it to some random engine from, from Motorhead days that yeah. people just love, but you know, it's just like, it's just an amazing well, motor, an amazing overall package with not much range. Yeah. You remember what that video we did, the Love Triangle? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was talking about the RS, the EXN, and the Sherman. Yep. And what I loved about the RS so much is that crazy torque, yeah. and you're getting that feeling with the Hero with exact suspension. same motor, right? And I'm, it's really good suspension, yeah. honestly. It, Dude. it is real. The more I ride it, the more I like it. I don't it need the rebound. Dampens everything. It yeah. doesn't pogo stick up like the V11 can. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually, even though it's like seems to be their own custom built suspension, like it, it's not some brand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, rig, but uh, I actually quite like it. And the more I ride it, the more I like it. Um, the last thing I will I go back to the it. riding the Abrams every day now that I'm done reviewing the, the Hero? <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I, I've been liking it, but yeah. um, it is nice to go a little bit faster on the Abrams. The yeah. the Hero can't quite the t torque one. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. quite fast enough, but torque it's, enough. It's if it's story. if you're the if you're the right person for the wheel, if you listen to all this and you're like, oh, that's great, all the things that I want, like I don't go on these super long rides, I don't have time for it, or I just, you know, I just don't for whatever reason, but I really want a more robust suspension and stability and a torqueier motor and really good in the rain and just a sexy overall package that feels great in almost every capacity, may very well be the right wheel for you too, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, 
pleasantly surprised asterisk, you know. Bigger battery. <laughs> less money. Yeah, less I, money, that's it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how the heck they're releasing this. In the next video, yeah. next video. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's going to be released shortly after. Yeah. We're really excited. We're going on tour, if you didn't hear. We are going Woo! to visit Seattle, Portland, Sacramento, San Francisco, San Diego. Santa Monica, LA area, San yeah, Diego, yeah. Phoenix, Arizona, because you guys spam the hell out of us yeah, to visit out, your downtown city. Shout out Phoenix. Shout out, shout out that crew. You got a big crew. Oof. And then we're going to hit up Las Vegas. Yeah. No big night. We have to big long ride afterwards. No big night. No big night. Mm. <laughs> you know, we may as well just go to Red Rocks and climb, so we're far away. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a tight trip. We're it's 14 days long, a bunch of different cities. It's gonna go 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 go. But I'm so excited to meet the community. Yeah. Um, it, oh. It's and shout out to Phoenix. We probably wouldn't have went. No, we wouldn't have if they we didn't wouldn't have went to so. Phoenix or or Vegas. So Vegas crew probably maybe. I don't Thanks know. Thanks to Phoenix, Vegas crew got it. But I think exactly. Vegas crew is a lot smaller. But yeah. Yeah. Army just wanted to spend a night in Vegas. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Go see a little Cirque du Soleil. We'll see whatever. Probably a couple um, slats. Yeah, it'll be fun. Slats, slats. blackjack. Blackjack. Craps. I want to I wanna try backgammon and uh, craps. I think it'd just be fun to go into a craps table and like, not know what the... I really don't on. know the proper rules, I, but I know, I've heard like, it's one of the funnest games to play at a casino. Yeah. Um, put some money on the thing and just be like, roll it, baby. I don't know. Yeah. You're apparently, you just catch on to a person who's rolling well and just catch on their coattails. All right. That's the play. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll um, let you know how that goes. We're also, I'm going to just say yeah. it and just to hold us accountable for it, we're going to do a, a like... Um, kind of a vlog of our road trip down. So we're just gonna, might be in a couple parts, we'll see how much content we get, but just between different cameras, we're gonna vlog from leaving. Yeah, and if you're, if you're in any of the, no van no troubles, van troubles. Don't think so. don't, just never, um, whatever happens. If you're coming to the group rides, we're obviously gonna document that. You will be likely in our will be video filmed. filmed. <laughs> this um, is your waiver. The S20 <laughs> is obviously pre-production models, so you're gonna be riding your own risk. We'll have waivers for that, yeah. of course. This is um, watching this is release. Yeah. <laughs> Indemnification. <laughs> yes, if you are joining us on our group rides, we're not <laughs> responsible, liable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, nonetheless, nonetheless, I'm so excited to meet the West Coast crew and yes. East Coast. We haven't forgot about you. It's just winter, you know? Yeah. And we don't just have, say, we only have two weeks. We can't leave yeah. the shop for much longer than that. Yeah, it's like that's um, pushing it. So time. we'll do another trip. We're talking about going to. Electric Games in Barcelona. Barcelona, We're really let's dragon go. Dragon If you're bored, you can leave the video. Yeah, We're almost well, we dead might anyway, meet you. We might, our European homies. We might be in Barcelona in August. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, and maybe go a little bit early, make a bit of a trip out of it instead of just two days in Spain. You know, whatever. Who knows. We'll see. It sounds exciting. We would like to bring Electric Games or something like it to North America. We We're will. thinking some sort of like we maybe will. it's in Vegas. They got some outdoor trails and stuff there, yeah. or Phoenix. But um, yeah. anyway. Would you would you come? Would you go to a North American one? I'm sure Let you guys know. would because it's a pain in the butt for North Americans to bring their wheel all the way to Spain yeah. just for a three day event. But uh, we'll probably do it just to experience it and then maybe bring something like that here. And maybe we go early and turn it into a European trip like we're doing here. Test to you know mm -hmm. like go on a bunch of group rides, culminating in the electric games at the end, and then yeah. we host some events there and sponsored stuff. Wow, it's good. I like Much. rambling. I like rambling to you guys. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. let's, let's hope that recorded. Oh, God. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, you fucking... Don't stare so blankly.